Hello world, welcome back to another Pico Gym workout exercise video. In this video, we'll be walking through the Forensics Challenge Verify. Let's get into it. People keep trying to trick my players with imitation flags. I want to make sure they get the real thing. I'm going to provide the SHA-256 hash and a decrypt script to help you know that my flags are legitimate. You can download the challenge files here, challenge.zip. The same files are accessible via SSH here, using the password, blah, 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 accept the fingerprint with yes and ls once connected to begin. Remember, in a shell, passwords are hidden. Check some, and then they give you that, and then it says to decrypt the file once you've verified the hash, run dot slash decrypt dot sh file slash file. Okay, so our first step is going to be SSHing into the portal that they have here and seeing what we have going on. Yes, and then type in your password. All right, now that we're in, we can do ls in our challenge directory here, and we can see that we have decrypt.sh and files. If we do an ls on files, we see that there's a bunch of just random strings, and if we were to cat out one of those files, we would see that it is what appears to be a base64 string, but it's not going to be base64. So let's go ahead and take a look at the decrypt shell script and see what we need to do in order to decrypt these files. We're going to go to the challenge.zip directory that we have here. And I already have it unzipped. And it gives you this home CTF player drop-in folder. And it gives you the same file structure as what we saw in the challenge on the SSH portal. And we're going to go ahead and just open this in code to see what we're dealing with. And as you can see, it's telling us how to run the shell script, just like it has in the challenge prompt here. It sets our file name to the first argument. And then it's checking to see if our file is actually a file, or like a legitimate file, and it prints an error message if it's not. But what we're really interested in is in this OpenSSL code down here, because this is actually what's going to be decrypting our flag. And it uses the key of PicoCTF right here, and it iterates 100,000 times and it provides assault and all that good stuff when it's trying to decrypt. If it doesn't successfully decrypt, it's going to print out this error message. But if it does successfully decrypt, it'll actually print out whatever our flag is as per the OpenSSL functionality. And in Bash, in if conditions, you can actually run the command itself in the if condition while also testing for its truth value of whether it executed properly or not. So with that out of the way, we need to find a way to basically pipe all those files into this script and execute them. And we can do that with a simple for loop. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that on the SSH portal here. So let me go ahead and clear out this. And we'll go ahead and do ls so we can see what files we're lurking with. To start off with, with a for loop in bash, we're going to do for i. In, and in this case, I is item, because what we can do is we can actually pass in a command that outputs a list or has some kind of output that we can loop through. And we can do that with the interpolated command syntax. But before we do all that, we need to actually figure out what command we want to use, right? Because the way to execute this script is that we need to pass each file as a parameter into decrypt.sh. And the easiest way we can go about doing that is by doing find files. Because what this is going to do is find all the files that are located within the files directory. And that gives us the list that we want. So now all we got to do is pipe that list into our decrypt.sh script. And we can do that by doing the for loop that we did before with the interpolated command output. So let's clear that. And let's go ahead and do for i item in dollar sign find files. And that's going to loop through each item in this command output. So each of those line items that you saw, it's going to loop through each one of those file findings. And then we're going to say semicolon do dot slash decrypt dot sh. And then we're going to do dollar sign i because we want to pass in each file that we're looping through into the decrypt dot sh script. And then we're going to do done. And as you notice, there's going to be a lot of errors because there's only going to be one that's actually going to pop our flag. Now this output is really messy to look through, so let's try to make it simple for us to scroll through in order for us to find the flag. So we're going to go ahead and do clear here, and we're going to go up a couple, 
and we're just gonna add a grep pico into this because that's gonna essentially locate our flag for us and it's only gonna provide output in regards to that now you will see bad magic number here and it may not show that on other operating systems but because I'm using Windows it might just have that I'm not sure if it actually shows that on Linux or not I haven't tested it but in any case it doesn't really matter because if we scroll up we'll easily be able to locate our flag and our flag ends up being trust but verify so we'll copy that paste it in and submit all right if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.